We all have limits that we put in place in life, whether we know it or not. Today, we are talking with our life coach, Pat Barone of Catalyst Coaching, about self-imposed limits and how you can bust through a limiting mindset. Good to see you again, Pat. It's good to see you. How do we limit ourselves in life? You know, I'm just responding to a couple of stories this week that were so inspiring. Uh, there was the story, first of all, of how the 19-year-old pilot landed a plane right. in a cornfield, you know, and she was in an emergency situation. Mm -hmm. She had her, her mother and her grandparents with her, and she did not let her experience hamper her. Mm -hmm. She That was not on her mind, I can guarantee you. She knew how to do this. She had been taught, and mm -hmm. she simply did it. Mm -hmm. And yesterday I was in Iowa, and I was uh, visiting with a spiritual leader from India, a woman who was came from poverty and goes all over the world giving hugs. <laughs> and through donations, she's built houses for thousands of homeless people. Wow. How you cool know, is that? It, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. But, you know, these are people that didn't let limitations get in their way. Oh, absolutely. Whether they might be age or gender or um, religion or sure. popular, you know, where they live, anything at all. Right. They didn't let limits get in the way of doing some great things. So we got to go past our limits. So mm -hmm. how do we get past our limits? Well, I brought some questions today for people to just think, sure. you know, think about and ask themselves. And you know, one is, you know, what excites you? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times we notice what really uh, lights us up, and then we back away from it with those limits. Mm -hmm. You know, we let those get in the way. Um, you know, another thing is, what are you curious about? Mm -hmm. Is there something that you've always wanted? to learn or do yeah or, playing the guitar or something like yes, that yes absolutely don't let limits get in your way and um, you know what if what do you what do you say if only mm -hmm. that's a big question you hear people say if only this wasn't in right. the way I would do this or if only money wasn't um, uh, a problem right well you know see if you can just leave that if only phrase and how often do you hear that you hear that all the time too exactly do you find a lot of people a lot of your clients come in and and, and do you feel as limiting yourself is an excuse mm -hmm. a lot of times do you find that it's an excuse that people make yeah here's the thing that you want the goal mm -hmm. and there's a long list of reasons why you can't do it right so you've got to step around that long list because mm -hmm. as we've seen over and over in society it just isn't true yeah. the oldest living lo uh, yoga teacher is 93 <laughs> and she didn't start um, practicing yoga till she was 73 Wow so she may have had an if only at one point sounds like it uh, but she got around it step outside of your comfort zone and go for it mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think that's the lesson thank you so much Pat for being mm -hmm. here thanks all right coming up on any